Hello and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Aquarius. Aquarius, you all have had a video just sitting in the queue for uh, over 24 hours at this point. So YouTube, y'all are holding Aquarius videos hostage. What in the world is going on? But anyway, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet, not to overwhelm anybody. This video may actually go live before the other video, you know, goes live. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So like I said, that video has been sitting in queue for over 24 hours. I had to upload it twice. So it's two videos that may go up and this may be a third one. So you may have a video that's a duplicate of one and then this one right here. So like I said before, it's all love. It's all good. It's all love. Aquarius, let's go. Happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you all, Aquarius. We're going to keep this short and sweet because you do have a much longer video that is up still uploading um, by the time you see this. Um, so let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. We are still in a cycle. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. A huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Here's the Magician card. Magician card. Um, here we have the four of wands. This is definitely going to take a leap of faith. I see somebody's attitude really determining their altitude, something where you could have been burned some in the past. Cause see how this person is looking down at the past and certain things just didn't work out for you in the past emotionally, right? Could have caused some emotional wounding and all of that. And what's going to save you Aquarius is this. You learning how to save yourself by, again, your attitude is going to determine your altitude. So this is where when you're feeling happy, charismatic, and free, I'm already speaking to existence. Whatever words you put out into the universe is coming back to you. So we had a full moon in Gemini, and we have the moon is currently in Virgo. Gemini and Virgo are ruled by Mercury. Mercury is not retrograde, it's pre-shadow retrograde. So this is like a pre-test for you. So if anything from your past has caused any emotional wounding, because your past is calling and they saying all kinds of stuff to you, I'm going to drag you back down to such and such. I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do that to you. And sources saying, hey, we have the two of cups. You are your own soulmate, right? Whether you have a friend that you can talk to or not. You are the person that's your own biggest cheerleader, right? So what you send out to the universe, what messages you send out to the universe, whether it's fear, doubt, uncertainty, speak what you want to come back to you in existence, all right? That's what I'm seeing for you all. So you don't have to have a physical, because a lot of people say, well, I don't have any friends. I, I don't have a soulmate. You are your soulmate. That's one. You're part of your own soul community, right? Your own soul tribe. So if you have one, that's great. You know, that's, gonna, that's going to keep you in good spirits. But somebody has definitely been manipulated in the past and certain, certain things are trying to dim your light. Certain things are trying to dim your light, Aquarius, and source needs you to talk to yourself. Speak of self-love. Speak it out into the universe because the overthinking can be self-sabotage. There's definitely some energies from your past that once you see, want to see you in a straight jacket or see you crazed out of your mind. Very, very manipulative energies. And they, if they were able to manipulate you, the smartest sign in the Zodiac, they're able to manipulate other people. The only person that can save you from this is you. You're not letting your emotions get you down at all concerning something. So when I say new money is coming across your path, new information, source is saying, look, this is a great time for you to learn a new language, pick up a book, go do something productive. That's going to keep your mind. Cause you all are thinkers. You're the smartest sign in the Zodiac for a reason. You're always thinking about moving ahead and how you can help other people. Aquarius source is saying, this is where you help yourself be your own. If you had a soulmate in your life, what would that person say? What would they say? What would Aquarius do at this point? What would Source and Aquarius do during this time? Because replaying the past over and over and over again, we have the eight and Knight of Source. Source is saying, take those blindfolds off and get locked in and laser focus on your purpose. This is how you save yourself, Knight energy. Speak highly. The, the uh, manhole cover has been put over the past. I'm not going back to that. I'm going to let people's elements consume them. We're talking about water here, right? I'm going to let people's manipulation consume them. So what that means is I'm not, I'm not letting people cut into my joy. I'm not letting people cut into, you know, my um, creativity. I'm not letting them cut into my adaptability, my sensuality, my fertility. I've been saying I wanted to grow some things. I'm not letting them cut into my emotional range, my sexuality. I'm not cutting, letting people cut into anything that makes me happy. And so there's some energies that can't wait to play the bait and switch with you, Aquarius, but you're saying I'm smarter than that. So you being happy, charismatic, and free, there will be people who will try to come from your past. Cause I'm, like I said, your past is calling to, to show, to prove a point. 
They're trying to prove a point that you're not as happy, charismatic, and free. They're trying to prove a point that you're mentally unstable. They're trying to prove a point that you belong in some kind of a straight jacket. Something is wrong with you. Sources don't give it any of your time. You got 24 hours in a day. Don't give it your time whatsoever. Find something productive to do during this time, Aquarius. Find something productive to do because your star is shining bright in which you're dealing with the energies that don't want your star to shine bright at all. And so you got booming voices that's coming through, especially during the full moon of what people think of you and what they what they would rather see happen to you, Aquarius. So don't let it drive you crazy. Don't let it drive you crazy in the least bit. Let's see what else we got going on here. Here we have the Six of Pentacles. Here we have the Princess of Cups, the Dame of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Death card and the Ten of Cups. Source is um Source wants you to operate in childlike faith moving forward. This is again where you're saying, okay, I have to have childlike faith. I know that things are going in my favor. I know this source, you know, give me all of this creativity. No matter. And people always think highly creative people are crazy. I mean, for real, highly creative people, they think people are just out of their mind. Just, you know, that's why they create a world. You know, you just see people dress however they want to dress. They wear their hair however they want to wear their hair. Source is saying, hey, look, but that creativity, when you add a structure to it, that's your ruling planet Saturn. It, it was just like a, a beautiful cup of water. So here we have the death card. And some people are definitely wishing this, you know, from your past, either that or something happens to you. And Source is saying to you, hey, listen. You know, I'm about to surround you with a bunch of very colorful spirits where you all are pouring fresh water into each other's cups. That's what I'm saying. You got to learn how to be your own soulmate. You got to know that you're your own soulmate. So when you're attracting energies, you're attracting all kinds of stuff. So you have to be the person to discern, be able to sift through all of that water, all of that. This is about purging right here, purging all the unhealthy and wounded and all of that other stuff in you, you're going through a metamorphosis. You're going through a very powerful transformation and you're breaking through all the things that was designed to uh, drown you, drag you under and sources like I've already approved for you to move forward, right? So this is my money coming across your path. So here we have the four and six of pentacles. Four and six of pentacles is uh, four and six is pen, 10, 10 is the number for instant manifestation. So this is where you're saying, I use my time wisely. I'm a great steward of my time and my money. I will not allow my past that so you can create whatever, you know, mantra you want to, but I do see you sitting on your throne and celebrating very happily. Who we also have the princess of cups, right? So source is definitely sending a new reason for around you to be happy. Like I said, you're very attractive. People are watching. People are watching you. People want to get next to you. They want to get close to you, Aquarius. They want to talk to you. And again, you have to tell source exactly what you want versus what you don't want. Okay. Cause there's a lot of water here in your cars. There's like a lot of manipulation. And so source is saying, I'm trying to put you in a headspace where you feel comfortable telling source what types of friends you want. And again, this could be strictly platonic. What kind of friends you want? What type of people you want to be around? So you definitely want to send out that type of energy because source is sending your soul tribe in, your soul community in. If you don't already have a so like a, a another of a, a member of your soul community, also known as a soul um a soul mate. But remember you are your first soul mate. So you already know what types of people you want to be around. You already know what types of people you don't want to be around. So be crystal clear during this time. But like I said, use this time right here to educate yourself. And what I mean by that, let's say, for instance, you visit a new city, right? And you say, okay, I think, I'm, I, I, think I like the slower pace or the faster pace or whatever kind of pace the city is in. Let me kind of sort of get to know some of the people here, right? Because if I'm going to be here, I want to go ahead and start establishing some places where I want to be, right? So let's say you're moving from, let's say you're in the United States and let's say you say, I, move, I live up north. I want to move down south, right? So let me go visit a couple of places. Let me look online and see if some of the reviews or whatever, so some restaurants or some stores or whatever the case may be. Where are the spaces that I, I can hang out in if I'm going to be in a lot of creative spaces, Right. That's why some people may move to LA or move to New York or move to Miami or move to some of the places in the United States where they feel like there's a lot of uh, creativity is really embraced, right? So sources saying, put yourself in places where creativity is embraced and away from energies where people don't know how to, 
you know, because creativity, you're going to have people who use their creativity for good and use their creativity for evil. You already know what it feels like when people use their creativity for evil. So I want to be around some people who I am the energy I desire to attract. So I am clean water and I want to be around other clean water. So that's what I'm attracting, clean water. Let me know ahead of time if there's dirty water around me. You know what I'm saying? Toxic energies. People who are just draining you dry. So um, source is saying to you, you have an innate spiritual understanding of what's happening here. And your sunlight is the thing that's telling you there's some energies, like I said, that don't want your sun to shine bright at all. And, uh, you're dealing with energies that, like I said before, um, have tried to set a trap. They would rather you not be around. And, um, source is saying before you have to flee a situation, Take notes, stay away from them, stay away, whoever they are, whoever they are. So it's just saying, stay as far away from them as possible because their energy, you got Knight of Swords and this is two types of energies. Just stay away from them as possible because what you're dealing with are energies that feel like the only sun that should be shining is theirs and not even realizing that the star is a sun, I mean, the sun is a star and you're already a star. You're not even trying to shine, but again, source is brightening your light. So source is saying, hang in there with yourself. Your life is about to get much more blissful, but this full moon that we had in Gemini can cause you to go into escapism because it's like, okay, it's so overwhelming emotionally, all the toxins that you left behind. And source is saying, I got two big pieces of news for you. That's going to put a smile on your face. So these are two energies that can end up being two good friends of yours. You know, that's going to keep you focused. And then here we go, adding to three, me, myself, and I, but it can also add into three more people. So you got two and three is five. Five is a pivotal point. So this is where you want to start telling source, you know, I want to attract energies that's going to come to me and say, hello, introduce themselves, you know, talk to me, those kind of energies. If you're kind of a shy person, but you've always been wanting to meet friends because guess what is coming in very soon. You're on the other side of a long and arduous journey and this is a pivotal point in your life. Five and nine is 14. One and four is five. Five says it's a pivotal point in your life. You've already been around a bait and switch type of energies. By now, you should be a subject matter expert at bait and switch. By now, you should be. There should be no and, ifs, or buts. You should be looking at eye movement, body language. Again, this whole cycle has really been about communication. There's too many forms of communication. I've named them before, but you can just Google it. Just the various forms of communication. You should already know when people are looking at you, what their intentions are. Are they, do they want to meet you? You know, are they, do you got your cell phone in your hand where people don't want to approach you because they don't want to disrupt you or disturb you? Is somebody looking to say hello to you and you just kind of off in a distance thinking about the energies from the past, trying to call you back, you know, sources saying <clears throat> be present, be in the moment, but stay away from energies that play that bait and switch game. People who are lost, they come across as jealous sources, stay away from them. Everything is lining up for you perfectly. Everything is lining up from you for you perfectly. Right. And the reason why things are coming through so crystal clear in terms of you hearing things, it's this very same people that were holding the sword in their hand. We got four and three and 10, right? So, um, um, that reduces to eight, right? You're talking about people, the single digit eight, you're talking about people who, um, and it goes back to this right here, both in your personal and your professional life. There's a lot of people who did, it was, it was for them. They were banking on you not knowing what your purpose was. That's, that's the bottom line. They were banking on you not knowing your purpose and your full potential. And so in their mind, they feel like, okay, they are crazy out of their mind. We knew they were crazy, such as they need to be in a straight jacket. So it's like you deliver, just physically stop talking about them. Stop letting that stuff sit in your mind, Aquarius, and move on. Here we have the eight and three of eight, um, um, of, uh, pentacles sources saying to you, Hey, look, Everything is lining up for you perfectly. Somebody could be in the perfect job for themselves, whether it's, like I said, in a creative space. A lot of people call creators crazy. They do. But I bet you if you was doing something for them creatively, you wouldn't hear any of the crazy talk. Oh my gosh, you know, we were able to, because again, sources saying to you, just learn how to continue educating yourself. You have a lot of great ideas. 
moving forward. Don't waste those ideas on what they plotting and planning and who trying to do what. So it's just saying a huge weight is going to feel like it's being lifted off of your shoulders. And so those it's also going to be replaced with something else. So when you're speaking about it, you're speaking as it's already done. For some of you all, you are already on the other side. So it's already done. And so Source wants to keep you in that headspace. Okay, Aquarius. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. You know, stay around people that you feel like this good energy good energy good energy good energy and if you feel like you're overwhelmed then you can always get up and exit stage left because i'm telling you there are people who are looking people who are watching people who want to approach you aquarius because your energy is very magnetic but you got to be careful with this because there's so much water you've poured out so much emotion you've poured out towards your past and, re and replaying the past because of the messages that's coming through for the moon and um gemini that we had and now the moon is in virgo that you got to be careful of people who are trying to att attach themselves to you, people sending you text messages, emails, approaching you physically in the stores, you know, people speaking to you, you got to be able to discern. So that means drinking more water, juice fast, those kind of things, limiting your time, especially if you're a person who is not that social, you know, you're not that, you're not a social, um, what is it called? Like a social um, bumblebee or social person. Sociable person, source is saying to you, um, everything is lining up for you perfectly. And source just had to get some messages to you about what some people were saying about you in the past. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it and that's all. So, uh, let's see here. We have the Empress card, the high priestess, the temperance card, the judgment card, the queen of swords, and also the three of wands. Source definitely wants you to be like this. There's a lot of people that you motivate. You, your spirit motivates them, you know, to keep on moving forward here. We also have the queen of swords. You're sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts, Aquarius, carefully vetting your thoughts. Here's some more major arcana, more, more, more major arcana. Um, you're just cutting ties with the past. You're just saying, I, I need to detach from certain, I just need to detach from certain things. So congratulations to you for detaching, um, from certain things that was designed to drive you crazy. Yep. You're detaching from certain things that was designed to drive you mad, right? You're at a higher frequency. Um, you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. You definitely have a, a guardian angel that's watching over you and also protecting, helping you to protect your gifts, right? So, and also helping you to keep things balanced out. You know, we, like I said, we've been talking about kind of sort of the same thing for quite some time, Aquarius, and I don't want to, um, I don't, I was going to use a term, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to sound redundant. Source is saying to you, you already know what it is. One this, when we had that full moon in Gemini, a lot of messages were coming through and was pre, is pre shadow retrograde. It went pre shadow, uh, November 25th. That's your pre test before it actually goes retrograde. So when Mercury goes retrograde, that's when you really slow down and start catching the messages, right? So that you're not carrying that into the next cycle, which I believe begins begins on the 11th, I believe. The next um, cycle begins on the 11th or the 12th. Whatever day it begins on, Source wants you to be in a different headspace. Like I be, the new cycle begins on the 12th of um, December, and we know one and two is three. Again, further reiterating, the new me is born to inspire. I'm leaving a whole lot of stuff behind. I'm taking a lot the lemons that were thrown at me instead of me being sour. I'm building a you're building I'm making some lemonade. All the bricks that were thrown at me, all the the harsh words and things that were said to and about me. I'm moving on beyond that. Like I said before, there's some energies, like I said, have felt some kind of way about your star starting to shine bright. It just was never meant for you to find your purpose at all. It just wasn't meant for some people to know for you to find your purpose. They just wanted you to stay in that space of just being lost and codependent and looking to them for some direction and some instruction. And you're not interested in codependent relationships. So here we have the two of pentacles, the tower card. We have the king of wands, the hermit card, the judgment card, and also the lover's card. So yeah, so definitely there was some energies that tried to make you feel like you weren't worthy or good enough. But guess what? Source stepped in and said, uh, wrong. <laughs> Not only are they good enough, I'm about to make sure their star shines bright, bright, super bright. Judgment card came out twice. Source is saying both in your personal and your professional life, source is out there. Source is like, okay, I'm, I'm going to show some people that, hey, look, 
you setting traps and stuff for Aquarius, that is not going to happen. It is not going to work because Aquari I have Aquarius has at came to me to ask me what I needed to do. See, people weren't, you know, and all that toxicity and stuff. Remember Aquarius, I was telling you all how somebody may have been felt feeling sick to their stomach because of that purging. You were breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. And see, when you start learning about your inner and outer planets, that's why I'm speaking to every part of wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart. This is an outer planet. This is Pluto. It's an outer planet. And that outer planet, somebody wasn't putting the pieces together. Like, how am I breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses? I'm just trying to get through the day. Like, I'm cycles, chains, and curses while people were telling you weren't good enough, weren't this enough, you weren't, you weren't ready, all this. All it takes, I'm telling you, Aquarius, all it takes is one yes from source. And source will use a physical human being since you all are ruled by two planets, Saturn. That's where you want to see the, the physical um, part of it. Source will use one person to say, hey, look, you always had it in you. And sometimes it's a person where you feel like now that they're in their light, you so excited about for them being in their light. It could be a good friend or somebody who's in their light. They're saying, I knew you always had it in you. I remember I was telling you, you should go ahead and do this and do that. And you're like, no, nah, I'm not sure if I'm ready yet because maybe you didn't have the, maybe, um, maybe they didn't have the support around them and you already know how that felt. So you're like, nah, you are really ready. Like you may not feel like it, but you're really ready. And so here you are with all these great ideas and sources that I'm about to add to your income. I'm about to add another stream of income to you. All you have to do is continue, like I said before, continue on your journey. I'm telling you, it was not meant for somebody to make it. When I, Aquarius, you know what? This is a Monday motivational video because for real, if I really delve deep into this, it's messy. It is really, really messy. When I tell you it was never meant for somebody to make it even out of the womb. Y'all can take that however you want to take it. It was not meant for you to make it out of the womb and for you to get to this big age in your life right now and recognize why you're here on this purpose and not go to the very same energies that try to kill your spirit. We're talking about from your family to exes to places, organizations you would belong to. It was never meant for you to come into like manifest this. That's why source is saying, look, you're divinely protected Aquarius. Things are actually happening in your favor. You know, you have a, like I said, this is a temperance card. So it's just like those energies, like I said before, hashtag, hashtag winning. That's all I can say for real. Hashtag winning. Cause all it took is for you to be, everything was torn down for you. Crying, upset, frustrated, depressed. Source helped me through X, Y, and Z sources. I got you. All you had to do was cry. Or I kept trying to tell you to get away from certain people. Once you did that, I got you. I got you covered. I got you protected, Aquarius. I got you protected. And haven't you been protected this whole time? Yep. That's why somebody is, um, people's arms are too short to box for God, for real. I mean, I know it's a title. I think it's a title of a movie, but it's the truth. Every person on this planet has a purpose. And so now that you know what your purpose is, Aquarius, that's how, that's why you moving different. That's why source kept you alive. So that's why source kept you alive. Here we have the world card, 10 of swords, the empress card, the emperor card, the eight of swords and a death card. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. 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 Yep. Yep. Empress card came out twice. We also have the Eight of Wands. Um, things are speeding up for you, Aquarius. They're speeding up. I mean, Source is really fast-tracking some things for you. And people still talking. Your nose may be itching. Your ears, something in your, your nose may be itching because what you're smelling on certain, what your, your nose is picking up on, Aquarius, is... Um, you know, people's talk, people talking about you. That's what you, you probably be picking up on. It's like somebody talking negatively about you, Aquarius. And, um, just saying all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just, it don't even really matter what they saying for real. Um, yeah. Yep. So, you know, so, you know, when, when you have, I mean, there's all kinds of superstitions around body parts itching and stuff like that. But what I'm seeing here is that like somebody may have some kind of a meaningful gift, you know, to you, you know, some kind of a um, positive sign of luck or prosperity. If people believe in superstitions and things like that, because things are lining up for you, things are working out for you, Aquarius. And, um, 
Sometimes you hear your ears ringing because people are talking or whatever the case may be, but you've already been through so much stuff. Like I said, the world card, your, your, your time in their life has been fulfilled. The mission has been fulfilled. So it's just saying, stay away from certain energies and move on with your life. Just move on, move on, move on. It's a positive sign. Like I said, somebody's nose has been itching. It's, it's like you smell success, like you smell the covering of source, right? And so there's this new scent. Remember we talk about scent. You may smell like um, faith, like faith in source because it's, it feels good when you know why you're here on the planet Earth, you know? And no weapon formed against you will prosper. It says shall prosper, but it, but it won't. Here you got to gain wisdom, dame of swords, judgment card again, king of swords, ten of swords, discipline, and then also elbow. Yep. Judgment card came out again. So, like I said, when we think about the judgment card, you want to definitely think about like uh, a powerful transformation. You know, a very powerful transformation. And um, you have some kind of resurrection or awakening, you know, like new beginnings happening here, you know, in a, in a, a period of an awakening and clarity for you about certain things and like i said your ancestors are like it's about time you woke up it came out three times so so it's just saying just discipline yourself like really learn how to discipline yourself because the truth of the matter is is that there were some judases around you which is sad here we also have el bobo you don't feel like a fool you feel liberated and free that's what that's connected to uh your ruling planet uranus which is currently retrograde and so remember when planets are retrograde you that don't move slower it doesn't move at a i mean it doesn't move uh backwards and it doesn't move at a slower pace somebody is just like man man oh man oh man oh man oh man because source kept giving people an opportunity to leave you alone aquarius i mean like over and over and over again kept source kept saying leave aquarius alone aquarius is working for me so aquarius is in their purpose it's like some people were just obsessed see that's when you take when people take let me see something when people take your meekness for weakness, they thinking, okay, who? where's the card? This right here. See this right here? Somebody that you love who could have been on a motorcycle could have been like, nah, stay away from them. Just get get as far. Like how you think like, like a motorcycle is, um, or maybe you ride motorcycles, gain more wisdom. Because that's what you was learning. Uh, the wisdom of source, right? The wisdom of God. But um, what was I getting ready to say? Somebody was telling you, Aquarius, um, that as you had this awakening, you had many, many awakenings about a lot of things going on in your life, that it was never meant for you to make it out of something, right? It, it was just never meant for you to make it out of something, right? And so you definitely went through a spiritual awakening, a transformation, some kind of absolution, Um some kind of personal growth in your personal, your professional life. And personal could mean your love life, your uh, relationships and how you see. That's why I say a lot of energies want to approach you, Aquarius. But this is the time for you to communicate to source first and foremost. Especially if you've been manipulated that much. It really can make you feel like, okay, am I really the smartest sign in the Zodiac? Some of y'all probably even checked your birth certificate to see if you was really an Aquarius. <laughs> but listen... <laughs> It happens like that, Aquarius. When you're around people who know how gifted and talented you are, all you need to be is in spaces where it's clean water. Because if you grew up in a family where there's a bunch of toxicity, or you join organizations and groups where there's a bunch of toxicity, you may have wondered, okay, how smart am I? If, if something is keeping you, you know, keeping something in your cup, like medication or some kind of controlled substance, some kind of spirit in your cup that you're drinking from. And so now you're like, okay, I'm paying attention. I got to keep my head down. Like I got to let, I got to let my third eye be open. Cause I don't know what kind of, you know, so that's what source is trying to tell somebody is that you definitely have come into uh, an, a, 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 an awakening here. Right. So here's the five of, um, this is what's going to open up your vault door, Aquarius. So the key to opening up your vault door, for remember, vault door is a portal, just so we know. It's a portal. Portal is your mirror. It's your toilet. It's your drains. It's everything before you even walk out the door. Those are all portals. Your window is a portal. Your cell phone is a portal. Your light fixture is a portal. It's plugging into something that's going to the power source somewhere else. All of that is a portal, right? So source is saying to you, when you recognize what is this what was the source 
of your emotional wounding and the sources of your emotional wounding. Um, you can move, you can move on beyond that. Your reputation is still, you're still sitting on the throne. You're still in act an, um, an asset to people and not as a liability. And now you're moving from five of pentacles to 10 of pentacles. All you had to do was get through the purging process, basically vomiting or regurgitating energies out of your spirit or however the waste was coming out of your body. And so this, um, this full moon that we had in Gemini and now the moon is in Virgo, are both uh, uh, reaffirming for you that, hey, you made the best decision to leave some energies behind. Here we have the ace of, um, you know, this is, again, your third eye being wide open. We also have the six of uh, swords here. You got an ancestor to help you move on from the from the deep disappointment. For wherever you go into Aquarius, your ancestors like, come on, just let's get away from here. Here we have the um, here we have the uh, the Jack of Hearts. You learn how to save yourself. It's a shame that in the Knight of Hearts came out twice. It's a shame that somebody had to go through so much manipulation with so much. I feel like somebody came from a really really talented background and all this talent. I mean, just. Could you imagine having so much talent, Aquarius, and you can't find one person really to really to help you and your own family, or you get married to somebody, they don't want to support you, they're too busy comparing, comparing themselves to you and everybody, just feeling uncovered all over the place. So like I said before, you got a lot of blessings here. Five of Pentacles came out again, King of King of Wands, Five of Swords, Princes of Swords, Ace of Swords, and La Luna. Mm -hmm. So much stuff. It does, there's that walrus right there. That's somebody's family. Somebody came out of that kind of family, but you turn these two five of pentacles into, oh my gosh, this, this reading would be three hours. But anyway, we're trying to get this up here. So 10 of swords, all kinds of Judas spirits all around you. Like what in the world? But see, this is, this is right here. I'm going to label this looking for love in all the wrong places. Because for real, that's what this is. Somebody has been from, from the age, between the ages of 8 and 14, when somebody was starting to develop um, emotional attachments to energies, it was just a mm, mm, mm. ace of swords. So that's where the breakthrough is going to come in. When somebody says, you know what, I, I can, I can safely pick up my swords and move on for real. I, I need to see all the, I need to see the major blessing that lies ahead and get away from that. I got a lot of great ideas, both in my personal and my professional life and getting ready to get on my, th my throne. So additional streams of income is coming across your path, Aquarius. So during this time, this is how you're going to finish. This is how you're going to close out this cycle strong. You're going to start educating yourself more as to how you're going to be a, become a better humanitarian and that's what's going to put more money in your pocket and i'm talking about we talking about double legacy wealth here for you who you and whoever else like i said your group of people coming together double legacy wealth that's what i have for you all aquarius let's pull a number out here and let's go ahead and close this out somebody has definitely been looking for love and i don't mean in necessarily a sexual way either i'm just talking about like like i said it, it took it took a neck to the next level of being a um no respecter of person here we have 12 there it is again we got a new moon on the 12th and um the 12 one and two is three i'm a visionary somebody is like i'm rooting for the underdog i can see how some people would some very smart people how they could be naive and being taken advantage of so this is bringing you into a new level of awareness creativity is a driving force in your life your imagination is rich and you're able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I'm a visionary that they, they can benefit from. Let's pull one last card, Aquarius, and let's go ahead and close it out. Remember, this is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. Happy Motivational Monday. You may be watching this on Sunday, December 3rd, but this is for the 4th of December through the 4th of January, 2024. All right. Kindness. Affirmations for kindness. I am full of loving kindness, period. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I'm grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile can make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. So like I said before, leave the past behind, put a manhole cover over because you got two big things. I mean, blessings coming across your path in terms of business and in love. And like I said before, the purging, let the purging keep happening. Every time you're going to think about certain things in your past, you're going to get sick for real, sick to your stomach until it is completely purged. You're not going around certain people. As far as you're concerned, they are dead to you. Let's just keep it 100. 
As far as certain people are concerned, they are dead to you. You're not holding a grudge. They just don't even exist anymore. That's why the death card came out twice and the judgment card came out three times. So it's just saying they, they're gone. That's what I have for you. I will see you all on. I will see you all on. Um, but, uh, you know what? Another thing I was going to tell you, too, is that there are some people from your past now that, that things are not going the way that they thought it was going to go, Aquarius. They will definitely try to reach out to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. As far as they're concerned, they, they, don't even, they don't even exist to you anymore. Like, they don't even exist to you anymore. They don't exist to you anymore. Because these are people who feel like they got secrets on you. They know certain things other people don't know, um, you know, about you. And it represents, you know, your fears and your illusion. It often comes out when you're projecting your fear you present you know, future based on past experiences. Like, okay, if I let certain people in my life, are they going to, they remind me of this person? Are they going to treat me the same way? So it's like, you don't have to live in paranoia. All you need to know is I'm leaving the past behind and I'm, I'm forward facing. I'll be able to, I'm not looking for, you know, a guy, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for love by somebody else's definition. I have my own definition of love, trust, healing, gratitude, compassion, connection, forgiveness. If I'm around people and I feel like, um, I feel lonely. If I feel like I'm having, um, you know, I'm allergic to something where I start itching, breaking out in hives all of a sudden, if I feel like, you know, I can't breathe, you know, like I'm having heart palpitations. Remember it's connected to the heart chakra. You it connected to the element of air you know, um, then I need to remove myself. But some of the stones that you all can get is jade, emerald, rose quartz. Some of the essential oils would be rosemary, thyme, eucalyptus, because it's all about being loved and be, you know, to love and being loved, right? So when I say somebody was looking for love in all the wrong places, it was like source had to take you through other people's definition of love and all the other words that I told you. And this, just so that you can say, hey, that's not the kind of love I want. I don't want that kind of love. That's what love is. I don't want any parts of it whatsoever. So let me sit down. And it was like somebody was forced to create their own definition of love. If that's what love is, if that's what sisterhood is, if that was brotherhood is, is that what family is? I, nah, some of it I don't even want. So if you got some some people, like I said, you're, you're structuring things the way you want it now. And source is telling you right at the helm, you've always been good enough. You just don't want to be attached to other people's toxicity. That's it. That's what I have for you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.